What up, what up, YouTube? How you guys doing today? Today I got another great book for you. It's called Healthy Brain, Happy Life by Wendy Suzuki. Uh, a personal program to activate your brain and do everything better. Wendy Suzuki. So that's the name. Let's get into the game. Uh, so this book is every book I go into it has three layers and this book is no different. So this book, I get into the core concept which is the main idea of the book. Then I get into the theory and then I get into the three action steps that you can take to apply this knowledge from the book. So healthy brain, happy life. So what this book is based on is the idea of neuroplasticity and the idea that an enriched environment equals a healthy brain. And a healthy brain equals a happy life. So um, what is an enriched environment? They actually did this study with different rats, right? They took one group of rats and put them in an empty cage. Very sad, very sad. And they took another group of rats and put them in what you call Disney World for rats, right? They had other rat partners, rat buddies. They had a bunch of toys. They had different things they could do. They had plenty of interaction. And what they found is the rats in the Disney World environment, the rats in the enriched environment, had larger dendrites, more synapses, and larger blood vessels. So let's just get into the theory real quick. So the theory is what are these various parts of the brain? So your dendrites are the end of your neurons, neurons that branch out, right? That create branches to other cells. So what that means is, they're, the branches were more branchy, right? They branched out a lot more. So um, that's what dendrites are. Synapses are the connections between brain cells. Normally, uh, brain cells, uh, not normally, but you know, on average, brain cells have 10,000 connections to their neighbors. So one brain cell connects to 10,000 other brain cells through various dendrites and synapses and neurons. Well, if you wanna increase those connections, you need an enriched environment because that increases the number of synaptic connections in your brain. And also it increases the blood vessels, the size of the blood vessels in your brain, which means that your brain is better at delivering oxygen and nutrients to, your, to the various parts of the brain. So that's the basic uh, theory behind the enriched environment. Uh, it's very simple, I'm shorting, I'm, I'm simplifying it a ton. But all of these lead to happiness. A bigger, healthier brain. You want a sexy brain. That's the goal, right? Happiness. So she found from various uh, personal experiments, Wendy Suzuki found from various personal experience, experiments and uh, the scientific literature that living in an enriched environment as humans we can have bigger, sexier brains. So that's the goal, right? Uh, so what are three action steps that you can take to make this happen in your life, right? Diversity of interaction, right? That's the first idea, right? You want an enriched environment. You want diverse interactions. You want to do different things. You want to always learn new things. You want to experiment with different sports. Uh, you want to experiment with different books. You want your brain to be filled with ideas. You want an enriched environment for your life. You want plenty of social connections so you can practice that part of your brain. Um, and, and that's what diversity does. It leads to greater connections, both internal in the brain, more connections in the brain, but also more connections outside of you, right? If you take the time to put yourself out there, and really like join like a writing workshop if you're into writing, join you know, something else if you're into whatever, like a biking workshop if you're into biking, I don't know. Uh, so, so just join different social environments and put yourself out there to enrich your brain and that will lead to a happier, healthier life. The second action step that you can take is music. Listen to music. Music fires the reward centers of your brain, the dopamine in your brain. It uh, leads to greater motivation and arousal. So if you're tired, if you're kind of like your brain is kind of gone and your willpower is depleted, 
you can be like, all right, let me listen to some music and get motivated. Listen to some like, you know, really upbeat music and get motivated because that's what that will do, right? So that's what actually I've been doing all day today. I've been I've been going at it with some music. So um, music, diversity of experience, diversity of music. And finally, the third action step that you can take is intentionality, right? Intentionality. Most people think that meditation and exercise are two separate categories, right? They both, when if you do one into each individually, they both improve the brain but did you know that you can meditate and exercise at the same time that's through your intentions right set intentions to exercise but also be intentional about when you exercise when you're running do you just experience the world are you aware or do you just let thoughts run through your head as you're running uh doing your exercise right i mean it will benefit you but definitely you want to mix meditation and exercise together so, yup, that's the basic short and dirty version of Healthy Brain, Happy Life by Wendy Suzuki. Enriched environments. That's what this whole book is about. Put yourself in an environment. Put your body in an environment that has you thinking creatively and, and, and doing different things. And that will create a healthy brain, which will create happiness. So that's my little talk for today. Have a good one, guys.